Okay, something different for tonight's video. I received a call from Chris at Milsom's Auto Painting Furniture Gully and she invited me to a pizza dinner and an evening with an airbrush artist at their shop. Now I do plug other channels and the occasional business on this channel, but only if I'd be prepared to put my name behind that brand. I've never endorsed anything which doesn't really impress me. Now where it comes to courses, there's a raft to choose from and some are less than impressive. You know, the how to make a coat for your dog out of eucalyptus bark, that kind of thing. I'm being a bit facetious, but this one left me absolutely gobsmacked. Of course, here's a photo of the incomplete works. Now, the video is going to follow the process from beginning to end of the work, but I've edited much of the spoken detail for reasons that it's Tony's gig and I believe inappropriate to publish his teaching content. So, following on from here is a brief video account of how Tony arrived with this result, and it'll continue to the point where he completes the work. I must warn you though, that this is shot on a dirty five-year-old Samsung mobile phone. The camera I normally use was, of course, inadvertently left at home. So the photos and video footage presented here does not do the work justice at all. I can't stress that enough. So please keep that in mind as you watch the video. So at the end of the video, we'll look at the fee schedule and a timeline of achievement. And the best part of that is what can be achieved very early on in the course. Now, we'll be looking at the skull and flames on a surfboard, but airbrushing can be for pretty much anything from displayed artworks to cars, interior and exterior walls, even t-shirts and birthday cakes. <laughs> One word of warning though, if you intend to make your artwork edible, you might want to use a, uh, a dedicated gun for that if you're shooting food dye and that sort of thing. So let's enjoy the video and remember the resolution of the footage shows merely a hint of the pieces viewed in person. So I hope you enjoy. Wow. Looks like me in the morning. <laughs> To be honest, I think the bolder you make things, the more impact, especially if you're going to put candy over the top. Mm. You need to really give it a, a very dramatic black and white. Yes. So if I did it that subtle and then drop candy over yes. it, it won't pop. Do you remember that with candy? Yeah. That was, oh, it was just tragic. It was so <laughs> awful. Like, I don't know what was going on in our heads at the time, but... LSD, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely photo real. I mean, that's a say. Oh, I can't get it. I've lost it. I've lost it. Which way do you go? Oh, there's some different ones. Which one is the people doing portraits of family members? You know, first newborn children, deceased relatives, all that kind of stuff. And it just, I love the fact that my students. It's like they drop a brick into their pond of their family and then it ripples, the airbrushing ripples through the whole family. They're doing artworks for everyone and children's bedroom wall murals. And Tony, is, that the, is that the black bleeding through? Is that the shadow on it? No, he just painted that on. Oh, I, did, I didn't see us talking. Just hand lock, pull the needle back and just went wham. Okay, so it's not talking. sort of turn it down a bit. That immediately pulls that forward, and then I'm now going to work down the sides, but then get lighter and lighter so that it's that it's that coming so it's there, and then it's twisting up and out. So I'm now bringing it forward. Instead of a can, I'm going to use a candy over this one. That's got transparent uh, automotive. Yeah. So some base coats are very transparent, others are not. Yeah. So all the oranges were a mix of uh, transparent yellow and transparent red. So I got the right. Mm -hmm. Is this easy? Mm -hmm. That tastes good. Yeah, well, we've got to, got to the end. How many changes do you get? Yeah, normally I ask every student to make 20 changes. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, to see if my students can do it so well that I can't find 20. I'll just quickly touch up this bit here and uh, some of these bits on the feet. 
it's easy to get lost into what you're doing. Oh, very much so. Yeah, yeah. very much so. Yeah. I've got one in the top. I've got this. No, I'm real. I've changed the finger in the back of that. I've got a Ryko. Yellow, yep. and becomes redder and redder and redder. Oh, and so yeah. all I do is just keep layering it up at the edges, and it just changes and becomes redder and redder. So it's, it's like five colours in one. And it's just one of those little tricks you just learn. Just don't damage our artwork as you lift it down. No, it's the artwork, not the ceiling. <laughs> Unreal banana peel. That is so impressive, isn't it? Okay. Right, so get I'll get yeah, yeah, we're cracking good. off branches. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yes, sure. I'm going to need a high-tech stencil. He does. Less so now. What was particularly impressive were the methods Tony employed in the advice he offered on tools and equipment. Now, he offered lots of tips on how to save quite a lot of money. Now, when we think of True Fire, of course, we think of Mike Lavalley. And if we look on eBay, there are about six LaValle stencil kits, all ranging from $140 to $220 each. Now, for tonight's exercise, we bore witness to what I reckon are superior results that were achieved using nothing more than a $120 gun and a used pizza box. Every single part of an artwork, it doesn't matter what you're painting, whether it's skulls or flames or anything you see down there. Dots and lines. Yep. This is a cynical woman. Yeah. If she could prove me wrong, she, she would. would. She will prove me wrong. Like okay. woman, you're right. And <laughs> anyway, no one has been able to prove me wrong as to that there are only eight. And uh, I get a very re negative reaction from people who have been airbrushing for a long time. <laughs> He's going to shoot yellow. I think my camera's crap. Okay, so guys, this is the first, this is the second stage. Okay. I went red, then I've gone yellow that. with the candy, <laughs> yeah. and just now I go the yellow the again, and then I use up. just Indico Clear and melt it into the candy underneath, yep. and it just pops again. Okay? I haven't got to the top, I couldn't reach. Could you just I'll get down there later. Yeah. Now it's very yellow right now, but when I slam the clear on, it melts into the candy quite nicely. That's Indicator. Yeah, indicator. Yeah, but that's, it's just face coat without yeah. pink. Trying to get away from the reflection, that is yeah. absolutely phenomenal. I haven't finished yet. What? Really? Yeah. Right. Okay, so candy time, guys. Yeah, you need your mask on. Go, go, go. That's a good thing, mate. Oh, that's a good thing, isn't it? I can't hear a word people saying. <laughs> okay, 
Oh, she's on her knees, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that the ruby you were talking about? Yeah, the ruby. Yeah, yeah. 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 It kind of goes into the black, doesn't it? So, guys, I haven't done the melt on the top here again yet, so just yeah. hang fire and I'll just. Hang fire? This on. Literally? Or? Well, I mean, I should spray it again with a clear. The big, the big gun. Yeah. Yeah, you'll need to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's just yeah. a log fire, mate. I'm sorry. What's that? That's the log fire. That's real. Yeah. 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 Okay. So when we look at written music, we see staffs, ties, slurs, triple clips, all that sort of stuff. But here, Tony articulates the music behind air brushing. Uh, almost shorthand symbolism with a bit of mass, I suppose you could say. Can't go into the meaning of it all because I don't really remember it. But every notation represents a process in the work, which in this case is an eye. Now, this was achieved quickly on a box where. All the audience members were sort of prompting him to keep going and add a nose and other facial features as well. It's got a beautiful soul, look at it. <coughs> yeah. How much is the cardboard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Guess what? It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the textures. And, yeah. No, no, just that last, that last semicircle. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 yeah, that just brought the whole thing to life about here. Yeah. Hey, Terry, that looks like you. It does. Look at that. 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 So here's a portion of the timeline which outlines some of the goals students will achieve. For further clarification on that, you'll need to make contact, I suppose. And of course the fee schedule now. Please bear in mind that the course is 200 hours in total and delivered throughout several terms. If you think about it, this is very cheap considering that it works out to be under $17 per hour. And if you're getting trained by the uh, by one of the finest with no doubt. Now, bear in mind the retail award is 23 an hour, so it is very, very cheap indeed. So I hope you enjoyed this video and derived a lot out of it. I know I did by attending. It was a it was an incredible experience. Uh, so until next time, drive safely, enjoy a classic, and I'll see you around.